everyone. So this week I'm gonna be sharing what I ate for lunch from Monday all the way through until Friday. I would describe my eating style as very go with the flow. I kind of eat, adapt to what I feel like on the day, taking into consideration what I have in my fridge. If I see any vegetables that are on their way out, I make sure I use them. I also love incorporating leftovers from the night before, just switching things up a little bit. For me personally, I feel like lunch is the most important meal of my day and I want to make sure that I feel satiated after my lunch. So I want something that's gonna keep me stable, keep my energy stable, not give me any crazy crashes. I want a variety of foods, I want colorful foods. And of course, it goes without saying, I want my food to be delicious. Let me know in the comments what your go-to lunch is at the moment. I know a lot of us are being homebound, so maybe you've had just a little bit more time to focus on this meal. I have some recipe eBooks over on my website, so go and check those out if you are interested. Let's get into this. Let me show you what I ate for lunch this week. Let's go. So Mondays are always my official day off. Like I give myself a day just to not be in the kitchen all day. So I usually cook something really simple and straightforward. So I threw together a kind of basic version of my non-basic salad. I grabbed what I could find in the fridge. So that included some lettuce. I am not one for food waste. Um, once I stripped back the leaves, the lettuce was fine. Once I gave it a good wash, it was fine. Um, I always have some eggs on hand, some good local eggs. Uh, I had some leftover butter beans, some red peppers, a little bit of cauliflower, like three florets of cauliflower that needed using. So I put my butter beans to roast. I just kind of seasoned them up with my favorite Duca spice blend and a few other things. So on a flat baking tray, I placed on the chopped up red peppers, with the chopped cauliflower, which I just kind of seasoned with some cumin, uh, garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, a little bit of olive oil, the usual. Um, I placed on top those duca butter beans and then I whacked that tray in the oven. So I stripped back that lettuce and I washed the inner leaves. They were perfect, absolutely perfect. I threw together a really simple dressing. I used some apple cider vinegar for the acidity. I used a really good quality olive oil. So I chopped up some spring onions. So I whisked my basic kind of dressing together, obviously adding some salt and some pepper. And I also added in some spring onions. So I mixed it all up with the salad. And then I threw on some furry khaki, which is like a sesame seed blend, which I'm just obsessed with. So yeah, I just placed everything on a plate, the lettuce, the roasted butter beans with the cauliflower, the red peppers. Um, I hard boiled a couple of eggs. I had some alfalfa sprouts, put on top a little bit of parsley. But yeah, this was Monday's lunch, perfect start to the week for me. So when Tuesday came around, I was in the mood to cook. You know, when you're just in the mood to cook. So I put all of my favorites on one plate which included plantains, some avocados, some salmon, some hummus, some quinoa. I wasn't messing that day, not at all. On the plate also was this watercress. This is my favorite peppery, fiery watercress, which I love. I had some salmon in the fridge. I had some leftover quinoa and then this big batch of hummus. I love making some hummus on a Sunday. It's like thing that I just do uh, for the rest of my week. And this is the red pepper spicy harissa hummus, which is in my brand new ebook, uh, Buddha Bowls. So if you want the recipe, go check that out. And this olive and sun-dried tomato quinoa recipe is also in the new ebook. My Buddha Bowls were clearly inspiring me that day. So with the salmon, I just, I don't know, even know, I can't even remember guys what I threw on, you know, one of those grab from the cupboard and go, season it up, you know it's gonna be good. So I also cooked up some plantain, chopped it up, cooked it up and removed the salmon once it was cooked. And then I put my Tuesday lunch together, which consisted of that sun-dried tomato and olive quinoa, the salmon, watercress, the plantain. I put some alfalfa sprouts and that spicy red pepper harissa hummus. Yes, I think this was, this was one of my favorite plates. I can never choose one, but yeah, this is one of my favorite lunches from this week. So Wednesday's lunch consisted of Tuesday evening's meal. I had some leftovers. I cooked up a big batch of this red lentil coconut pot, which I shared on my channel a few weeks back. So I will link that video in the description. Uh, the original recipe calls for sweet potato, but I didn't add any last night. I just had it with some jasmine rice. Today I wanted to switch things up a bit. So I served it with this really yummy Japanese sweet potato. It's not as sweet. I don't find it as sweet as like the orangey ones. Um, so yeah, I put this in the oven. 
I heated up those red lentils, which were just smelling so good. There are so many spice seeds in this recipe. If you've tried it, then you know what I mean. But a really simple leftover type of lunch for Wednesday. I just cut my sweet potato down the middle and it was steaming hot. Oh, so good. I put in a little bit of butter and just gave it a little mash. And then I put over my red lentils, some fresh coriander, um, some coconut yogurt, which I had, a little bit of rocket, a few slices of red onion, some nigella seeds some extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar on my salad and then I devoured this. Oh, so good and so simple to put together. So Thursday's lunch was my very awful attempt at making, I can't even call it sushi, I'm just gonna call them nori rolls. Uh, I basically just stuffed some like sardines and some rice and some avocado in some nori sheets and wrapped it up. I always keep this brain boosting food on hand, these sardines, and I love to buy them in olive oil. I had some rice from when I told you I made that red lentil coconut pot. I had some rice still left over, so I wanted to use that up. And then I just had some nori sheets like at the back of my cupboard, so I was like, perfect. So I love like smashing the sardines up and adding a little bit of mayonnaise and some mustard and some onion of some kind. So that's exactly what I did. I used this hunter and gather mayo cardo which i actually didn't realize it was vegan so if anyone's wondering it's vegan but i've actually tried that other one which had egg in it and it was really really delicious i don't think this one was as nice um, but i do like the fact that they don't have any type of rancid oils in them so they don't have rapeseed canola none of that madness um, it's just made with avocado oil which i love so yeah i placed the tin sardines into a bowl placing in some of that avocado mayonnaise mayocardo whatever it's called um some mustard some dijon mustard have to say um some lemon juice some black pepper and just gave everything a good mash i love this even just this with like a salad is so delicious i placed in some spring onions because spring onions are in abundance right now and they're tasting so good so yes threw in some spring onions and i also threw some furry khaki into the rice just to give it that sesame feel uh, I just love it love furikake honestly cannot get enough of this stuff um so yeah really simple grab my nori sheet um it was a bit of a disaster rolling them up so you won't see any footage of that you would just see me cutting them <laughs> and putting them on a plate but yeah really simple rolled them up put them on a plate and they were finished I finished these off I used like four nori sheets so I made quite a few and yeah really delicious simple quick easy lunch with like I said my favorite food sardines which just gives me that midday boost keeps me going keeps me um switched on until the evening Friday's lunch consisted of honey garlic and lime chicken thighs which I had seasoned up the night before I had some broccoli and I also had some broad beans which were like a week old they were just sitting in my fridge and they needed using up I also had some coconut yogurt which was as you can see it was on its way out so I needed to to make use of it so I thought let me finally finally chop up some fresh coriander and combine it with the coconut yogurt um, I placed in some black pepper some sea salt some lime juice so a really simple delicious coconut yogurt blended with fresh coriander and lots of lime juice that I paired with the chicken so for the chicken, I simply grabbed my griddle pan and I griddled them on both sides. I just wanted them to get a good color. And then I placed them into the oven to finish. With the broad beans, I kept it really simple. I didn't even double pod them. I don't mind the chewy outer layer, but some people don't like it, but it was fine. And I just cooked them down with some cumin and some garlic. So, so easy. So yeah, I served everything up. I placed on that coconut coriander yogurt, um, those chicken thighs and those cooked down broad beans. I put on some parsley and some sumac and some black pepper, good drizzle of olive oil. And this was delicious. I also steamed up that broccoli, which I showed you. This was a good end of the week lunch, which I devoured. So maybe this lunch video would have sparked some ideas for you to take into your week and um, get a little bit creative in your kitchen. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed. Please give the video a like and yeah, see you soon.